your bag with another unboxing. Yeah, and this is for LPH, and she has started a whole new collection. Yeah, um, I've started the uh, <clears throat> Swamping, and it's a guy I, I'm buying out his collection, and this is going to be part of it. And I got another another section of it coming later this week. Yeah, well, next Ken, week because it's original time. Kenner Swamp thing. That yeah. is. Yeah. Um, so this is two. This is two different people right now. Um, one guy he has loves using shopping bags. Yeah. Well, long as it's in good shape. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, I bought it on bids. Nobody bid on it. He had two of the play sets, well, a play set and a vehicle sealed in the box, never opened. That's Transducer. This. Yeah, that's the operating table. Uh, Comes with mutated insect figure exclusive. Yeah, awesome. and then you see the person on the table. So that's this one. Um, yeah. Oh, and there's that poor bug being tortured. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not a big fan of <clears throat> play sets. And, or vehicles, really. I do some vehicles, yeah. but um, yeah, I, I got it on on this one, on the swamp thing one. Some vehicles yeah. and a couple of uh, playset. Well, it's only one playset. <laughs> Bye, Bayou Blaster. Yeah, with That's firing hilarious. torpedo and thrashing, thrashing blades. blades. Yeah, and this one also was on bids. Nobody was bidding on it. It's factory sealed, never yeah. been opened. Um, so I got a good deal on it on both. The same guy had both factories. Well, Willing to so. bet that these treads don't work and there's a little tiny fake wheel underneath each one of them. Oh, do you think that's what's going well, Hasbro on? Hasbro used to do that with G.I. Joe all the time. Yeah, but this is Kenner. Yeah, Kenner's cheaper than Hasbro. <laughs> <laughs> so, I bet you. I bet you, bet you, bet you. Who says yeah, that? I don't know. Lamb Chop. Oh, okay. Lamb chops play along. Okay. Sherry Lewis, classic. And this is the next one. It's still Swamp Thing, but it's a different seller. I'm buying out his collection. And I bought some more stuff from him um, that's going to be coming later. Styrofoam. Yeah, and, and that. Insulation. Yeah. So. And you don't want these back. Yeah, no. I see what he, he did give here. A good review. He built a. Uh, hey, that's not bad so far. Mm -hmm. He built like a little chamber here yeah. <laughs> no i mean this is fine no it's, it's good it's, and i'm gonna leave a review for him we get some of, bad packaging nightmares so yeah. i'm glad to see that he made the effort to build like a little little security chamber for these figures yeah so so i got my little swamp thing collection yeah. going as you can see that's just a, a blank post-it note there yeah all right, and he was smart enough to put something between. Yeah. So that he could. I don't know why there's a post-it note on each of these though. I don't know. Oh, I know why too. Oh, it's on touch. The uh, tab on that one. Yeah. And evil unmen. And look at that price, three for ten dollars. Yeah, that's that's um. What is that? KB toy oh, stores KB for toy. you. Yeah, that's how they used to roll. That, yeah. And who's that? Anton Arcane. This is Anton Arcane. Arcane. This is a nice sharp corner. Evil on scientist these. leader with spidery biomass. Yeah, and then Dr. Demo. Demo. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and the cards look great. Yeah, these are really good cards. Yeah. Bio Glow Swamp thing. Oh, mm -hmm. excellent. Yeah. With Glow in the Dark. When do you ever see him with a tomahawk? No, uh, he got one there. Yeah, he's got one yeah. there. Spiky but ball climbing. climbing swamp thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got a rope. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and a little swamp ladder. thing could just grow. So yeah, he's well, whatever he wants. Uh, he's gonna climb. Snare arm swamp thing. Uh huh. Which just looks like a repaint of the glow. Is it? Or is there? No, this one's a little, just slightly bigger. I thought it might be just a, a repaint, but it's it looks like a total re-sculpt. Yeah. Okay, good going, Kenner. One more. I think it's going be six. Yeah, and down here, this is the capture swamp thing. Yeah, they got his arms and a neck. And, yep, 
unpunched. <laughs> All right, this guy made a, a pretty solid effort. Yeah. To so he'll get a good, and, a good review from me. Oh yeah. And here is the back showing you all of the figures. Yeah, eight figures and two vehicles pictured there. The play set's not on the back of this. It's actually more. Oh yeah, I can see you got these two over here. Oh, okay, heroes. Yeah, heroes. Just two heroes, sorry. Yeah. Two human figures. And these mm -hmm. little bug things you can put on top of them, I guess. Yeah, and they come with the bugs, so. Alright. Yes, yeah, so I think I just need um, like four more. Okay, you're getting there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And again, I got, uh, I think, two more coming from the guy that sold me this. And I know one of them is going to be a vehicle and a figure, but I can't remember what figure it is. Nice. Yeah. Back in the museum room with another unboxing. David's so excited. He can't wait. He wants me to be quiet. So Whatever. he can get to it. You're never quiet. No, I'm just messing with you. This is kind of a mini grail. Uh, look at the, this is the original shipping box. They sent it in the original shipping box. Look at the price on it. UPS $3.62. Because, of course, this is from the 90s. And what's in here is Joe Fans. Mm -mm. Joseph, from the 90s? Yeah. Joseph Colton is what's in here. This is Joseph Colton. Oh, and here's the original mail-off chart. Free limited edition figure offer. See? 1980, 1993 Hasbro. You gonna fill it out? No. C come on now. There was six of these. Because this is the blonde one. But he was available in four different hair colors to match up with the original four G.I. Joes. Mm -hmm. So he's blonde, brunette, um black haired and redhead same figure just different hair and there was also an arctic version and a three and three quarter inch version and i had all six of those like perfect like this actually i had opened them i did have them displayed this one is still sealed are you gonna open it i might i might open it up and display them i had all of them and of course that was part of the collection that my ex stole and so and he's not worth a, a fortune but it meant something to me, yeah. you know, so I went back. I don't have any 90s Joes at all anymore. They're all gone. Mm. And this is how you originally uh, obtained one was through this order form. And he still had the order form, the original shipping box, everything. And I got it for a really good price. And I'd like to at some point be able to get all the versions of Joseph Colton again and maybe do a display with them, line them up, mm -hmm. I think would be cool because I had them already. Mm -hmm. You know, back then I had all the convention pieces for the G.I. Joe conventions, all sorts of figures from this series. I had most of the uh, 90s style Joes and not anymore mm -hmm. for the obvious reasons. But that was just, you know, like I said, he's not worth a fortune. Kind of a little mini grail though because it was something that I had lost that I've got again. Okay, nice one. And? More unboxing. Yes. Crack that open. Mm -hmm. More plastic bags. Yeah, they love those plastic bags. I know. And? Another bag. Yeah, this guy didn't want this back. No. But you know, that's what you gotta do sometimes. You can sit here and make sure. Yeah, there's nothing under there. And that's a that's a good way to do it when you're not sure mm -hmm. about how, how the to, post office is gonna yeah. treat. No, they are sure how to pet post office <laughs> on. That's why they do it like that. Yeah. Because they got experience. Yeah, something bad happened. And then my stuff will come in an envelope. Mm -hmm. More plastic. Of course. Uh oh. And more swamp thing. More swamp thing. Yeah. Like I said, I bought out a guy's collection, and um, this is the last of his collection that I bought from him. I got more swamp thing stuff coming in. Yeah, she's really trying to wrap it up before the before people realize. Yeah. Bog Rover. Since when does swamp thing need to drive a vehicle? Mm. <laughs> it can't have an action figure. <laughs> Without, Without vehicles kind of and a playset. Yeah. So, um, 
Brand new, never open. Bog Rover. Still rover. factory sealed. Missile really fires. Thank you, Kenner. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we need. That's what your kid needs. Well, that they... They do. I mean, if your kid swallows a rocket and they shoot, the, that's what started that whole thing in the first place was Mattel in the uh, Battlestar Galactica series. Mm -hmm. And the kid shot himself in the mouth and that's why he swallowed it. He put it in his mouth and, and fired it and choked on the thing. Buy you Jack. And it's like, if you're going to do that, <clears throat> then yeah, what you do you expect? Yeah. Well, most kids wouldn't do that. Yeah. And it's a nice card. Um, yeah. So. And I'm almost done with the series. I see. Bio Glow, Snap Up. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he comes apart. Yeah. Snap Up, that's cool. All right. David. Yeah, I got another package that was packed by a maniac from an insane asylum here. Look at this. The post office didn't do that. You don't know that. <laughs> that is pure improv. This is more tape than box. <laughs> and it's all wonky and they I don't, made it fit. I don't have a video of it because people asked me I put on Instagram a couple of weeks back that uh, I got a package that was the box was beat to death and the contents were wrapped in dirty dish towels oh. I put a picture of it up on Instagram and people were like did you film that one no we didn't get to film that one yeah but, yeah I usually I film every unboxing just as a precaution, in yeah. case something is really screwy, like how this is packed. No packing material. Gosh, guys. I look like a G.I. Joe something it's or another. It's not, but, you Oh, know. well, then it's probably all right. No, oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> that was mean. It's a, watch out for this tape. Uh -huh. Oh, no. It's from a uh, pl processed plastic. Oh. It's a processed plastic space shuttle because I do have some processed plastics items. You know, you'd find these in Woolworth, Kmart. Oh, like that's that. like this thing over here. Yeah, that rocket down there. Oh, okay. It's from the same uh, Set. manufacturer. Sometimes it would be referred to as um, Gay Toys. Mm -hmm. This was the, uh, another sub company. This is real dusty too. This needs some love. It's a good thing this arrived intact or I would just go nuts. You wipe it, well, wipe it off with a baby wipe. Look how dusty that is. Look how thick that dust is. Goodness. That's the, the spacecraft that blew up. The Columbia? No, it was the Challenger. Yeah. The Challenger uh, exploded yeah. in the 80s. And there's all the bio on the back. I have one of these already. Over oh, there I in the showed corner. the wrong yeah. thing. Yeah, well, that's that's, this is the same one, but that, that other rocket was also made by the same company. But well, what's they, the oh, they, um, I know you did not buy that because that little middle part is a different color. It's different colors. Oh my no, God. well, I'm not get, That's about as far as I'm willing to take it. It was a really good price, but uh, they mixed these colors up so much. There's probably 20 variants. I'm not bothering with all of that. But for what it was offered to me for, I was like, okay, you know, that's that's reasonable. I can I can take another one. It's it, it looks different from mine. You're not gonna be like those people. Oh my God, the shoes are a different color. I need that other one. Yeah, I don't want to go too deep down the variant rabbit hole. I'm not getting like every possible color combination of that. But um, you know, another one offered to me for a really good price. Sure, why not? I figured okay. I'm glad it's in one piece. It's gonna need some love though. I gotta I gotta clean it up a lot. But that pack job, I don't know. Nothing like just, that a good um, Clorox wipe on handle. You're not putting Clorox on anything in Clorox here. wipe. Don't listen. Wipe. Do not listen to her. Anyway, mm. at least it wasn't wrapped in dirty dish towels. Mm, burn it like we did the other one. Yeah, Put we, it in we, the fireplace, kindling. All that went in the fireplace. <laughs> That's it? Okay. Yeah. Another box. Another box. There's always... One more box. Yep. Oh, these look like they're from my new uh, Twilight oh, yeah. Zone. Is how much in them? One? Correct. Oh, okay. I got a bunch of the new Twilight. Oh, they're not new. They're new to me. The Twilight Zone series coming. So 
so. They form fitted the tape, so it's going to be complicated. David's going to make it complicated. Mm -hmm. That's what that translates into. Oh, is that what it means? Mm hmm. Because you know, tape is frightening and confusing. <laughs> yeah. I'm like a uh, caveman lawyer when it comes to tape. Because it just doesn't work. And it's got a price tag on it. It says thirty dollars. Yeah. So, if you paid more than that, just a word to the wise, to all of you uh, sellers out there, if you have your price tag on it and it's less than what you charged the person that's buying it from you, you might want to take that off. Yeah. I don't know what you paid, but I'm just saying as a point of fact there. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the alien creature. Yeah, from that one episode with the guy with the harmonica. Yeah. Yeah, that one was funny. The guy, he just make up all kind of elaborate stories, and they were obviously not true, and all of his friends knew it. But the an angels, the aliens heard him, and they thought that he was telling the truth. And then... Uh, and they tried to kidnap him. Yeah. And then he started playing the harmonica, and they couldn't stand it, the noise. That must be the convention cannabis. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because this is the That's other the panel. standard one. So, so far, I have the Gremlin, Talkie Tina, uh -huh. and the Alien, which the is alien, where... Right yeah. there in the middle. Okay. So, yep, I'm on my way. Continuing on with our saga to complete the Swamp Thing series. Is that what's going on here? Yeah. This is the next piece in that line. Stiff paper. Mm -hmm. oh, dude. We got it in there. Yeah. That kind of paper, I don't know how what Scuffs how this was, but yeah, that kind of paper will scuff the life out of this uh, out of these packages. Did you know it was wrinkled? Yeah, Look it that. has a little wrinkle, but you know, okay. once you put it in a case in there. Yeah, just watch this corner when you press it in. Okay. And how how far does that bring you here? Um, okay. So I got, I think, two more cards coming. Mm hmm And then as far as action figures, after I get those two cards, I'll need one more action figure. And I'm watching a vehicle. I see. A vehicle is on bids right now. Um, ends in five days. So. Five days? No, no, five whole days. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. And yep. and these are mine. They're yours. Yep, I'm wrapping up this swamp thing. One of these days, mm -hmm. I'm going to open one of these boxes. Uh huh. And it's going to be a surprise for me. One day. Well, you have done that before. I There's have. Been a couple of times where I've opened something up, I had no idea what was going to be in it. Yeah, a little packing material, huh, buddy? No. Anything at all? No. This burst open. Oh, no. Oh, no. That burst open. I'm telling. No. I mean, just something in between them so that they're not like. And then look at all this. Just uh, here, there's a piece of paper and some crap. I don't know mm. if that was already scuffed or not. Yeah, it had a little bit. I guess it said well, you paid that little amount. The corner. So it went from $4. 499 to $298. $298. And that's, it's, did you know the tab was broken? No, I didn't or know Or a that. crushed corner? Yeah. No. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. I put it in a protector. I'm not going to worry about it. But this one I have to glue now. I'm going to have to glue it that. together. But I'm going to leave a bad review. Three for 10 KB from six ninety nine. Yeah. The, yeah, that's a, you know how I am about packaging. Yeah. Bad packaging just really gets under my under my uh, skin. Yeah, let me set it over here. I got to put it. I got to do that. Um, put it in the that makes database. Me I, I upset even looking at it like that. <laughs> oh, because it it wouldn't have taken that much. No, you know, put it a piece would of, not have. Uh, a piece of um, like wrapping paper between them mm -hmm. or something, a piece of foam strip. There's a lot of ways to do it so that they don't rub on each other. Yeah. 
And now I got to glue wrap. that down. I'm not going to send it back, but uh -huh. um, I'm going to glue it down, you know, so it'll be. Hey, look at that. This oh, guy There's only attempt. one thing in there. Uh -huh. it, it got bent up, but. Yep. Snap up. So now I'm. Was so this already with that crease? That's a weird crease. I know. That, I, I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But it's a lot of packing material. Yeah, I know. <laughs> At least he tried harder than the last guy. Yeah. Good lord. Now I'm short one figure. Who are you missing? Is he on here? Um, the camouflage. Uh, this one. Oh. The, okay. the camouflage. And then I'm watching for this one. It goes out uh -huh. on Saturday. And so far, I'm the only person watching it. Yeah. So hopefully, I'll still be the only person watching it come Saturday when the auction closes. Yeah. And then I'll have everything. And then I just saw, but it's a playset, so I'm not going to worry about it because I don't collect playsets. But yeah. it is a, I have one playset only because the person sold it. I bought out their collection, so the playset yeah, yeah. was in there. But it's one oh, more. Oh, this is the one that falls apart when you press the button. Mm-hmm. But it's one more playset, and I'm not worried about it because I don't collect playsets. He looks like he's smiling. Yeah. Unboxing. And this is somebody who doesn't want this back. Why? Because they put a lot of tape on it? No, because this box is way bigger than is necessary. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> they're like, uh-uh. Post office isn't going to wreck this and then... Have you trying to return anything? Forget it. Some packing foam. Oh, it's naked. Yeah, he's naked. This is jacket. <laughs> oh, it's a GI Joe. His jacket is separate. Yeah, it's a it's not in the box. GI Joe. It's a talking commander. No, loose talking commander. He's he's had an accident. That's wrong with it. Oh. He doesn't have, oh, he don't have arms. Yeah, he doesn't have his arms. As a matter of fact, oh, here we go. You bought it like that? Yeah, I mean, I can't find the arms. Mm. The arms would be... Shouldn't be too hard to track down. I don't know if he's talking or not. And if he's not, I can fix him. But his flocking is really excellent, and that's kind of important. See how clean that is? Mm -hmm. There's often patches, or sometimes kids would try to shave him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll see here. He's not saying that. Yeah, he is. It's just very faint. Oh. He's talking very faint, but I can fix that. Oh. It's probably just the uh, foam pad is worn out in there. Oh. So I'll uh, I'll open it up later and put them back together. He's got a jacket, but I do have a pair of pants that go with the talker. And now i got more talkers than I have outfits for him because i got two naked ones mm -hmm. standing up over there. On the on the shelf, the the two naked Joes on the right mm -hmm. are talkers without uniforms, mm. and he needs a, a dog tag for this chain. But I I actually have the dog tag, mm. so we'll get him restored. Okay. The that I took apart. Mm -hmm. You see my poor Joe there. I already disassembled him to see what was wrong, and he does not have the speaker part mm. so if i can replace that he'll be fine and i put the dog tag on there because i had an extra one oh, okay. you know mm -hmm. he'll be all right we're getting there mm. now this just came courtesy of ups at least the box looks like it's intact yeah i know for a large box for ups this should already look like an accordion so i'm, I'm grateful that it arrived in one piece See a lot of bits packing of uh, foam. Somebody must have got a TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, there goes that stimulus check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Basically. Oh, that income tax return. Yeah, most likely it was a stimulus check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just saying, because you know uh, Walmart was right on top of that. Every time a check came out, they had a hundred TVs for just that amount. Yep. Kind of already. Make it fresh. 
guess what this is. <clears throat> The only thing I hate about that is all these little particles now. Yeah. Now take it out over the box so you can not be bag everywhere. Off. And it's a garbage bag and they tied a knot in it. Which I could cut it, I guess. If yeah. I can't pull that out, I'll just cut it. It's not like he's gonna be used today. We use the bags, man. No, that's not a garbage bag. It's some kind of shopping bag. Mm -hmm. And this obviously is Dragon or Dragon, however you want to pronounce him. In the box, although the box has like tape all over it, and it was sold originally at King Norman's. King Norman's right there. Can't see You're the out price. of focus. Yeah, big and out of focus. What are you doing? I know. Back it up. There you go. For what, what, eight six, eighty-eight. Oh, eighty-eight. Golly, ten bucks almost. Yeah, this has been. This box has been resealed and resealed. Now at least it's still intact, and they don't look horrible. Yeah. Let's get all of this out of here and take a look at our. Shogun Warrior. Release him from his bondage. And he should be real clean. I'm not so much concerned with the box when it comes to this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Why not? Because I don't mind displaying these loose. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, it's nice to have the box, but it's not the beginning and, and the end of it all. Mm -hmm. There's his launcher. Is he 100% complete? I believe so. Nice. Shogun Warriors. And he go with these other three. Yeah, he's part of that same here. series. And the Godzilla also. Mm. Got, oh, he's missing something. Mm -mm. Well, it's. Uh, I mean, I might can find it. His stars. There's his uh, his stars. Oh, he missing a yellow one. And his axe, his hatchet, because he flings the uh, he flings the hatchet. There's a way to launch those. Mm -hmm. The stars shoot out of. Uh, Showed out of the hand piece. You see the box. They shoot out of here. Mm -hmm. And this is tough to find with, with, the, that hand with, the, piece? with the clip intact. Oh. And you operate this little switch, right? And there's a spring and it launches these stars. Mm -hmm. And then out of this other hand, there's a way to, uh, there's a, a spring loaded mechanism, goes like that. Mm. And then when you flip the switch, I don't want to launch. Th I could, I suppose, I could. Mm -hmm. But you, um, he had it came with a couple of axes, and you do that, and he would throw the axe. Mm. And this is actually um, type three. Okay. Because it was done. Mattel made them three times. This is the third version, and I can tell he didn't know, but I know. The way you tell is uh, one with these thunderbolts. Because the first two did not have the thunderbolts on the shins, mm -hmm. and they took something away because mm -hmm. the first two had a buzz saw on the backs of the forearms, and you could spin them. And he has no buzz saws, so this is a Type Three, but he's pretty clean, you know, just some minor scuffs from play. Looks pretty good overall. Mm -hmm. Missing just a couple of accessories. And hopefully I can find him. But otherwise he's real nice. Mm -hmm. And he'll fit right in. Unboxing. Unboxing again? Yeah. This one is halfway unboxed. Yeah, we started. <laughs> yeah, but we wanted to wrap it up because this is the last of the um, swamp thing that I'm getting. Yes. And um, now I have everything. Except for I do need one vehicle, but I'm not going to concern myself too much with it. I honestly forgot that um, 
I needed it until this became available. I wanted on bids. I was the only person that bid on it. Yeah. And um. And it's not the not an easy piece to find. This one. No. Mm -mm. It's the swamp trap trap. Is swamp a, trap. Mm -hmm. Is um a playset, and this came with two playsets. I have the other one, the transducer, and uh, this one is the swamp trap. And it's sealed, never opened. Um, so, you know, I had to move on it. And again, it was on bids. Yeah. And I was the only one that bid on it. So that was good. It's yeah. cool when you can find something on bids. Because sometimes you get a good deal when other people aren't watching. Swamp Trap Playset. Yep. With Venus Vine yeah, with vine snare and giant Venus flytrap. I almost said that backwards. <laughs> and there it is. Yeah. And I'm liking this set. Um, like I said, I saw the most recent TV show and loved it. Yeah, she, um, poor Swamp Thing. He just wants to be left alone. Yeah, I recently bought yeah. <laughs> the 1990 TV show. I haven't oh, watched yeah. it yet, but we're going to add that to our list of shows to watch. Yes. And, um... Can, I can compare it and see which one is better. Okay. Very nice.